Hello crafters, welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be using um, this uh, 8x10 picture frame from Powland and one of these bags from this gift bag pack and you get two in a pack and they are a pound and I want to use this seam here so let's take this out of this packaging. We're also going to need some LED lights. Now I was going to use the ones that I saw sent in my store but unfortunately they're sold out and the ones I've ordered aren't going to be here in time and um, for Christmas so let's move this to one side okay let's have a look at this, this bag okay so it is double sided and the image goes around to the side okay, so this is what I want to concentrate on so I'm just going to cut this bag open so I'm just going to cut along the seam Crafters, my camera died on me. Um, I cut out the bag using um, my paper trimmer. And then what I did is I put the glass out of the frame and then decided which part of the bag I wanted to um, utilize. And then I cut round the, drew around the glass panel and then cut it out. So now I need to look at the, the front image and I need to mark on the back because you can't really see through it this side. You can. You need to. What you need to do basically, wherever you've got lights. So in these, in all these spaces where I have light of some description, I'm going to put an LED light. So I'm going to pick it up and mark where I need to place these these lights. I'm going to keep you know keep turning it over using my finger to place where I need to put these uh these lights on there and you don't need to rush this you can take your time make sure you get it right one two three four five six I think I'll have one by the moon a couple in the in the air I have one by the snowman one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right. Obviously, you need to look at what size light stand you have. Um, the ones I sell out have got ten lights, but this one I've got here has got more. So I'm hoping I can cut it off and it will still work. So I'm going to try that with you on camera. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I'm just going to leave one on for uh, just in case. So I'm going to snap that off and I'm going to twist these wires I don't know if this is going to work it may not work and I'm, I may have to get a um, 10 strand LED but you never know let me go down and get some batteries and we can see if it works or not okay let's pop some batteries in here And yes, they still work. Okay, now on the back, I need to have as much of this wire as close to the bottom as possible. So the first one I'm going to do will be the, is it a snowman? Let's have a look. Yeah, the snowman. And I'm just going to bring these lights up. Now these are quite short in distance, so I may have been better leaving the actual strand as it was, but hey, if I if I want to do that, I can always get another strand of lights and redo it. And these are on metal, so they can be manipulated to go where my X's are. And I'm just attaching them with um, cellar tape because obviously these are LED, so that they're, they're not going to get hot and and burn. in my frame securing the wires making sure that they are flat I'm gonna put the back on and 
as you can see I've left the um, I've left it so the battery box is sticking out and then I have a picture frame that has got lights on it so I'm just going to turn my lights off and that one so there we go so it's my actual picture frame now is illuminated and I think that works really well and there's so many different bags out there that you can get that will really you know you can really make those really individual to your uh, to your tastes there you go nice quick and easy and I think it really does look quite good considering it cost me two pounds and an and, uh, and LED strand that was um, in my stash and I got two bags for a pound so in essence it was one pound fifty so not bad at all Thank you very much for joining Crafters and I'll see you again very soon. Take care now. Bye bye.